Oh, Joy is having a baby. I think we better make her something. Whenever I have girlfriends over or make something for a potluck, I love to make this celery root soup. It is so easy and clean and simple and most of all healthy and perfect for Ojoy's baby shower. I'm working with Ken Community. We're doing a virtual baby shower for Ojoy with a lot of my favorite other um, contributors. So here we go. I'm gonna show you how to make this. So here we go. It's, ooh, it's so beautiful. Leeks and celery root. I basically already made this before. Uh, I, I didn't even take you through the steps because I'm gonna tell you how easy it is. With a little bit of butter and oil, you're gonna saute the leeks. There's a leek in the boat. Sorry, bad joke, my son loves that. And, and you're gonna do it just for about four or five minutes till they're nice and tender. Then you're gonna add cubed celery root. Uh, celery root, you find at the grocery, it's delicious. It almost looks like a potato, but it, it doesn't have the calories. It's very low in calories, but it has that starchy flavor. So when for a pureed soup, it's lovely and creamy, um, but with the leeks together, it's magnificent. You're gonna put the leeks in, cover it with chicken stock uh, and a little bit of salt, and just cook it for about eight, 10 minutes or until it's fork tender. That's it, that's the few ingredients that you use. And then you take one of my favorite little kitchen toys. I even let my kids use this all the time because it's completely safe, unless you stick your finger in the bottom, which you wouldn't want to do that, would you? You just want to stick it right in the pot so you have a lot less cleanup for this recipe too. Just stick the immersion blender in and get to work. Here's a trick also, make sure with your immersion blender to never pick it up or the soup will splatter all over you. Keep it down. And that's all you have to do. It's gonna get nice and creamy, woo, silky in, in texture, just like a really nice soup. You can always add more chicken stock if you want it even thinner, but, but this is really perfect. Now here's the fun part. How are you gonna serve it? Um, for a party like this, I like to serve it in either these like little shot glasses. They're really cute for passing around at a party because I, I love like a little shot of soup. Um, I've had it at different restaurants and I always think it's just such a, a fun little idea. That way you don't even have to serve spoons. You could just um, give everyone their little shot glass. Um, and then another way is a mason jar. Just like this, really inexpensive way to serve soup. Again, you don't need a spoon, just pass it around and just like that. And then the other is the more obvious way, a bowl, but all beautiful. And then what you can do is take chives. Here's a good trick, you can use your scissors and just cut a few beautiful little chives on top. Just adds like a little beauty to the top. You could also put a tiny dollop of Greek yogurt or sour cream as well. That's it. Congratulations on your baby, Joy. Um, I mean, I hope that I get to bring this over to your house before or after the baby is born so that we can ching ching and raise a glass to you. Congratulations. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Welicious.com and, and of course, subscribe to Welicious and to Ken Community.